Y'all, can we just talk about Holy Conviction for a second? So picture it. Like, a week ago, I was supposed to go to a Christmas party. And I didn't end up going for because I was sick, had schoolwork to do, had to babysit. Um, it was a mixture of factors. And I was really upset with God. Like, like why? Because I really wanted to go to this Christmas party. I was planning to do a bunch of things that I discussed with other people that were going. Like, it was just so imperative that I wanted to go. But all that week leading up to it, I was not feeling it. Like, I was feeling something inside of me saying, do not go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. And I was trying to ignore it, put it down. I didn't know what it was. Um, I was trying to ignore it, like, all the way up to the point where, I, like, literally, like, three days before, I happened to get sick. Sore nose. Um, the whole, the whole spiel, you know? And I was really aggravated. And Sunday, Sunday came around, or the day, I kind of revealed what day it was going to be. But, like, that Sunday came around where the party was, came around. And I was well enough to go, but I wasn't allowed to go because I had schoolwork to do and I had other things to do that day, right? I say all of this to say that um, I'm kind of glad that I didn't go. Like, my spirit is at rest that I didn't go to that party. Like, of course, the day of and the day after, I was very upset. But then I feel like, like, honestly, I feel like God told me not to go because it was snowing anyway. And the weather conditions weren't bad. Who knows? I could have gotten in a car accident. Who knows? Somebody who was there, um, who I'm not really that close with, could have been bat crazy. Um, something could have happened um, that I don't know could have happened. And moral of the story, I just feel like I wanted to share this with y'all. I feel like it was on my heart to share with y'all and just say that, um, first of all, happy Sunday. Pray, read your Bible. Um, but also, like, if you feel holy conviction, or if you feel conviction not to go somewhere, or not to do anything, guaranteed it's from the Lord. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Like, I just wanted to share this, because it was on my heart, and, uh, yeah. Listen to God, read your Bible, pray. Um, if you don't feel right going somewhere, don't go. So, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>